Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. I made a pair of mittens recently. Then my sister asked me to make a pair for her little girl who is three years old. So I did. I used the same stitches as the one I made for myself and I added a little furry finish at the end. This is my first time making baby mittens and this is super cute. If you like what you see, please consider to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to smash the like button and hit the notification bell. For this project, I use acrylic yarn that is number 3 light from Loops and Threads, 4mm hoop, a pair of scissors, and yarn needle. And of course, the furry yarn. There are three parts for this pattern, and we're going to begin with the cuff. So, let's get started. Grab hold onto the tail, wrap it around your finger like this to make a loop. Then bring the working yarn through the loop to make a slip stitch. Then insert the hook into the loop to make a chain of 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And to begin round one, start on the second chain. That is one, two, this one right here. Place a slip stitch. That's one. Then place a slip stitch into every chain. Two, three, four, five, and six. To begin the next round, and this is the repeat round. One chain and turn. From here, place a slip stitch into the first stitch. That's one, two, this one right here. And make sure you insert into two loops. Then slip stitch into the back loop of the next four stitches. The back loop is a far away loop from us. On the last stitch, slip stitch into two loops. Repeat this round until it is about 4.5 inches or that is able to wrap around the aisle's width. Just make sure that you are insert into two loops of the first stitch and also the last stitch. Once it is 4.5 inches, then one chain at the end and cut yarn. Make sure to leave a long tail that's about maybe 10 inches long for stitching. Fold it in half and stitch the first row and the last row together. Once it is done, put it aside. And we're going to begin part 2. Grab hold onto the tail, wrap it around your finger like this, and insert the hole under the first loop. Pull through. The working yarn and twist. Yarn over and pull through the working yarn through the loop. And ta da! This is magical. To begin round one, place six single crochet into the magic circle. Insert, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's one. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Two loops. Two. 
three, four, five, six. To close the magic circle, just pull the tail. Round two is an increase round. So on the first stitch, place a slip stitch. Then one chain. On the same stitch, place two single crochet. One, and one more into the same stitch. Two. On the next stitch, also place two single crochet. One, two. For this round, place two single crochet into every stitch. By the end of the round, there'll be 12 stitches, and I'll meet you on round three. To begin round three, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. In the same stitch, place a mini bean stitch. Insert, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now that you have four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through four loops. On the next stitch, also place a mini bean stitch. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through. There are four loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through four loops. Again, on the next stitch. On this round, place a mini bean stitch into every stitch. By the end of the round, there'll be 12 stitches, and I'll meet you on round four. To begin round four, slip stitch into the first stitch. And one chain. In the same stitch, place one mini bean stitch. Then place two mini bean stitch into the next stitch. That's one. Two. And this is the repeat. Place one mini bean stitch, then two mini bean stitches. Repeat this all around. By the end of the round, there'll be 18 stitches. And I meet you on round five. Round five is another increase round. Slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. In five stitches, one, two, three, four, five. Place one mini bean stitch. One. Two. Three, four, five. In the next stitch, place two mini bean stitches. One. And two. Repeat this all around. By the end of the round, there'll be 21 stitches. 
and I meet you on round 6. Round 6 to round 14 are the same, so slip stitch into the first stitch. 1 chain. Then place 1 mini bean stitch into every stitch for 9 rounds. Each round you will have the same number of stitches of 21, and I meet you on round 15. To begin round 15, slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. And the nine stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Place one mini bean stitch. From here, 6 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then skip 3 stitches, 1, 2, 3. On the 4th stitch, place a mini bean stitch. Then place a mini bean stitch all the way until the end. By the end of the round, there will be 24 stitches. And I meet you on round 16. Round 16 and round 17 are the same, so slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. Then place one mini bean stitch into every stitch for two rounds. By the end of the round, there will be 24 stitches, and I meet you on round 18. To begin round 18, slip stitch into the first stitch. 1 chain. Place 1 mini bean stitch into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 stitches. Then combine 2 stitches as 1. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and insert into the next stitch. 4 loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through 4 loops. Then place 1 mini bean stitch into next 6 stitches. Now combine these two together. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and insert into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through four loops. Repeat this one more time. By the end of the round, there will be a total of 21 stitches. And I meet you on round 19. Round 19 is also a decrease round. So slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. Place one mini bean stitch into five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Then combine these two together. Insert, yarn over. Pull through, yarn over, insert into the next stitch. 4 loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through 4 loops. And repeat this. By the end of the round, there will be 18 stitches. And I meet you on round 20. To begin round 20, slip stitch into the first stitch. 1 chain. Then place one mini bean stitch into every stitch. By the end of the round, there will be 18 stitches. At the end of round 20, slip stitch into the first stitch. 
one chain. Then cut yarn. And we are going to begin part 3. When working on the thumb, and to make it less confusing, we are only working with the total numbers or chains we add on, and the total numbers we skip on round 15, which is 9 stitches. We skip 3, and added 6 chains. For any fake stitches at the corner here or here, we do not count them. But we are still going to include this by combining two stitches as one, so that there won't be a large hole at the corners. And I like to turn my mitten upside down and insert my working yarn into the first stitch right here. Tie a knot, insert, yarn over, pull through, one chain to begin. Then place one mini bean stitch into every stitch. It doesn't matter which two stitches that you're going to combine together, as long at the end there are nine stitches. And repeat this for six rounds. And I meet you on round seven. Round seven is a decrease round. So slip stitch into the first stitch. One chain. Place one mini bean stitch into the first stitch. Combine two together as one on your next stitch. And repeat this for two times. By the end of the round, there will be six stitches. From here, cut yarn. And close the hole with a yarn needle. Lastly, is to attach the mitten and the cuff together. And I always insert my needle into the edge of the mitten and out from the edge of the cuff. Repeat this all around, then fasten off at the end. The mitten is now complete. You can leave it as it is or give it a special touch by adding this furry looking yarn to it. Insert the yarn anywhere you like. Insert. Yarn over. Pull through. One chain to begin. Then single crochet all the way around. And that's all for today. I hope you like today's project. Please comment below to let me know. And please consider to subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed today's project. And don't forget to smash the like button and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!